Hey, what's going on guys? Booster Whips here. I'm going to be doing the installation video of the Mishimoto oil catch can. It's a baffle system. For this installation, what you're going to need is a 10 millimeter uh, socket uh, wrench. You're going to need some type of pliers. I like to use this one instead of the needle nose pliers, but it's up totally up to you. So you can use the needle nose pliers. And you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. So for this installation, what um, what Mishimoto recommends is you go ahead and you remove uh, this. This is a really tight seal, guys. So if you put your finger kind of in here, you have a little bit of leverage to kind of take this off. So what you want to do is that you want to oil up the threads. What I did is this already comes with um, some type of oil ready so what I did is that I grabbed some of this oil and I uh, lubricated the holes for where the uh, in and out lines are going in. gonna be uh, seated sorry the little pipes so what I did is I grabbed it from there with my finger and closed this up and I lubricated uh, these holes here with the same grease that's inside um, if you have some you know mechanic grease or whatever it is you can go ahead and lubricate this area a little bit more and uh, but basically that's what I did I basically used the one that's from the inside I used a little bit and I lubricated the insides so I'm gonna show you now how do you install the um, or how you prep this prior to the installation alright guys so what you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and install these um, connections here this is where the uh, the hoses are gonna be connected to these are 17 millimeter so if you use a 17 millimeter socket you'll be able to uh, hand tight this with a quarter turn what I ended up doing for now I don't have the 17 millimeter uh, wrench so I hand tighten these and what I did is that I tried putting a towel over this and try to tighten it with the uh, with some pliers and um, it worked but on this one I ended up scratching as you guys can see so I added just a little bit of paint to cover it so use a 17 millimeter guys uh, makes life much easier and you'll prevent damages so 17 millimeters what you need to go ahead and tighten this what you do is you tighten it uh, hand tight and then a quarter turn once you have this piece this is how it looks so that's already set up the next thing you want to do uh, which Mishimoto's uh, film does not show is that you want to go ahead and prep the clamps on the hoses. I already put this one in here. I find that if you use this type of plier, it's much easier than using the needle nose plier uh, simply because you have more room to work with and it's uh, much better. So I'm going to go ahead and install this side and then I'm going to do the second hose. As the next step is, we're going to go ahead and install this bracket. And we're going to end up using the 10 millimeter wrench to remove some screws here. And it's going to get installed right there. So I'm going to remove those screws. I'm going to go ahead and give you a close up where you got to remove. But it's two screws to remove the front bracket. And then we're going to loosen up the top two 10 millimeter bolts. And that's where the bracket is going to get located. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. So it's about a total of four. 10 millimeter bolts all right so we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the bolts all right so that one's loosened up I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera I'm gonna loosen up the second one And 
want to loosen it up even on both sides and then you can either use your hand or you can continue using the ratchet just make sure the screws don't fall off all right so this is how the bracket is you know remove that bracket this is only to be able to access those other two screws there it just facilitates the process so you can go ahead and you remove this and get to the other two screws so I'm gonna go ahead and remove now these screws right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna sandwich in the bracket with this one here Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finalize and remove those screws and then I'll show you how to sandwich in the bracket and we'll go ahead and replace this back on. Alright, so this is how the two screws are. This is how long they are. I went ahead and I removed it with my hands. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sandwich in the bracket and replace the screws. So if you want to bring this down. sandwich it in there and replace it with the screws So that's how it will look. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the screws now. And uh, we'll show you the next step. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the 2.5 millimeter screws off of here so that we can secure this onto that bracket over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. So what I like to do is always loosen enough and then just use your hands to remove the screws. So I'm doing this on camera here guys like this but you don't want to have this over the engine just in case you don't drop the screw. I'm going to have this in a secure flat driveway or something like that so that you don't lose a screw so removing the last one now and there it is so here's the three screws and this we're gonna go ahead and put it on the bracket and we're gonna screw this back on all right guys, so you put the catch can on here and what you wanna do is you wanna align the screws, the screw holes, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the screw to secure this. So again, I'm using my hands first, just in case. We need to adjust or anything like that. So we're gonna do just hand tight and we won't tighten it with the Allen key until we have the hose routed and everything is secured. Okay, so that's with hand tight. And that's how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and now and route the hose. I'm going to have to go ahead and remove my engine cover just because the hoses are uh, hidden behind there and routed. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my engine cover out of here. 
and uh, we'll work on the hose. All right, guys, so we need to remove this hose right here, which is the PCV uh, hose from the valve into the intake manifold. Um, you're just going to use, you know, some pliers. This uh, clamp already removed it, but it's all the way down there. But if you grab the, uh, the uh, let me go ahead and try to show you here a demonstration. Grab the, uh, the pliers. It's all the way down here. So all you have to do is press, bring up. And the other one's located right here. So you want to remove this and you want to press on and move back. So that way you loosen this hose right here. And that one's going to be replaced with the Mishimoto one. So I'm going to show you that now. All right, guys. So the hose is off. What happens is that the clamps, since they're on there for so long, it becomes, you know, it kind of presses on the tube. So it constricts basically for you to remove this. So what I ended up doing is that I use a flathead screwdriver very carefully and I pried the hose from the bottom and kind of push and then pull on the hose at the same time. Eventually it will come out, but it takes time, guys. Don't yank this off, you know, don't get impatient or anything like that. But just a tip, you can go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver and uh, patiently, you know, kind of move it, you know, in between the grooves until you loosen that up and you can kind of pull at the same time and it starts to come off. So there it is, the hose is off. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to the next step. So you're gonna grab the Mishimoto hose, which is the, sh the shorter one, the one with the angles and the thinner one. So it's gonna go in this orientation, you know, 90 degree into the catch can and the one that's facing down into the uh, one you removed before. So go ahead and put this on here. And this one goes on the out. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and secure the clamps and then we'll take it from there. All right guys, so we're gonna install the larger hose. This one's gonna go right where the uh, other end of the connector that you removed from the uh, stock uh, hose and it's gonna go into the import of the catch can. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that and uh, we'll finalize this setup. All right guys, I just wanted to point out, uh, there's two clamps from Mishimoto that they were a smaller size for whatever reason, I don't know why, um, but you're not able to install it on, on the hose on the smaller one. So I'm gonna reach out to them. I had to go ahead and buy my own. So I bought these off of uh, Advanced Auto Parts. I had to go out basically I had to uh, disassemble, put back the stock hose, and then go out, unfortunately. But I found these. Um, these are more practical because they're screw-on, uh, but that's it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and finalize that. So I'll go ahead and put one end. Into the catch can. Got to play around with the hose a bit. Make sure it's always to the end. And then we'll connect the other one right where I showed you. And this one is right where the uh, fourth spark plug is, where this harness is right below it. That's where that connector is. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and adjust the clamp and we're going to secure it down and we'll fire this up go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten everything else the screw put back the bracket that goes over there tighten the catch can i'm going to put back the uh, engine cover that i removed and i'll show you the final product all right guys so here's the last look before i put the engine cover so everything is secured with the bracket the hoses, everything, the clamps, everything has been secured. Uh, one note, guys, I ended up putting that cover uh, plate in the front last. And uh, you're going to have trouble once you have the catch can in the way to try to get to the left screw. So uh, what I ended up doing is that I unfastened the three top screws. I let the catch can 
uh, loose and I was able to put that plate. I do not recommend trying to do a work around that. So um, just keep that in mind uh, right before you uh, do the installation all this go ahead and put that bracket prior to everything and if not do what I did remove the catch can the three allen screws that are on the top and uh, just put in that plate so and I'll go ahead and put the engine cover back on that's why I have the uh, oil cap off and uh, we'll wrap this up and I'll show you the last uh, shot all right guys there you have it this is the final product with the engine cover on, the oil cap on, everything nice and bolted down. That's the Mishimoto catch can, guys. Looking real nice. If you guys are wondering if the uh, aftermarket engine cover fits flush now, I had to do a modification, so I had to do a cutout. Something like that. So I did a square cutout so that the uh, there's no pressure on that hose. And that's basically it. Hey guys, so Mishimoto says to go ahead and monitor this at your first thousand miles. So I'll give a thousand mile update uh, once I reach that threshold. And we'll check how much uh, the uh, catch can has caught up. So anyways guys, any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Boost the whips. I'm out. Have a very blessed day.